Let's see, this is a student who like, carved his name here from 1972 until 1988. Holy shit. Right, I found another Kazuska bridge <laughs> stacked on top of each other, like no, fucking no, tied no. and twined. And I was like, what are these? And, you know, and I ripped it apart. And I was like, holy fuck, man. This guy Mike was just like so Larry deep in his shit. Larry's a part of it. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple homies like rolling deep. Brian's right there. <laughs> man. And, uh, <laughs> I think this one's a, a July 4th dude with a flag. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. Really cool. Brian's also from over there. Yeah. Brian's from Kevin. Kevin, Kevin H, man, 82. <laughs> so. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, my name is James Concannon, and I'm from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And uh, I'm at an art show in New York City, uh, New York. Um, yeah, it's all based on this man. It's all based on this dead guy right here. His name is Douglas Doom, and I found a set of seven or so photographs in a uh, dumpster. Um, and I became obsessed with him. And uh, here's his family farm in uh, Lowell, Michigan, um, with a broken down Studebaker. And so, like, I had this whole thing where it was like this guy was around me. I built like this little shrine, and then I was like, "Oh God, like, fuck! I need to know more information." So I got really into everything and like went deep private investigator. Uh, found his obituary online, which I found like he had a sister living in Michigan named Levon Venema, and uh, I called her, and, and she's over here, and uh, we we talked for a while, you know. And uh, this is Levon; she's beautiful. And then we got into email correspondence, and. Uh, you know, she told me like little stories and trinkets about, about her brother, Doug. And like, there's Doug right there, just like grabbing his like belt. He looks great. And um, she would tell me these things, you know, and they're like really beautiful little statements, like just about his life. And like, I, I was like freaking out with her. And, and we got into like a really great pen pal relationship. But then I made all this, and this is all made out of garbage, like dumpsters around New York City and stuff that I found all this in. And, uh, you know, it's gotten pretty cool and everything like that. And I based it all around Doug, and like, here's Doug also. This is this photo's sweet of him. He looks great there. He's running the chloride. That's like a piano hammer and a flag. This lady, I found some of her photographs, and she's like, like takes her top off in some of them. And uh, also, uh, she's really wonderful. I think I have, I have a photograph of her in, in my this thing over here. So it's sweet. Look at her. She's great. She's got like a, like her nip is slipping, which is fantastic. Uh, so I keep finding these things and like emailing these people and finding these stories that exist in the world. But this is all kind of based on, you know, Douglas Duman. He's a pretty interesting guy, you know? And then this is him in, in drag right there. And he looks great in drag in front of the s and Ironworks. So that's on uh, Marigny Street in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And, you know, I got like a gator clock for like him and shit like that, like, you know? from this set, and this is from Mardi Gras, and this guy's got like an aluminum cock piece he's wearing, um, which is pretty funny, that's from his collection also. And you know, so uh, like I just made all this stuff, and like it was a pretty big trip of a time, and I got into his brain, and I like made it really super like hypersexual about him, and like how like, you know, when my father was 13, uh, he walked into his uncle's house after he'd been murdered, and there was like a wall of dicks. And so I imagine that was like kind of like the same situation, like walking into like this guy's house, but totally different, you know. But I, I kind of went there in my head, so I made like a big wall of dicks. Yeah.